I am down here at VIP Sauna in Patia, but this area is called Hua Yai. It's a little bit, uh, little bit out of town, a little bit off the beaten path, and I like coming here for that reason. Give you guys a quick look around. This has been my little sanctuary getaway. Every time I want to come chill out, I come over here. I got some food coming. We're going to do this real casual today, just have a conversation. I hope you guys have some things on your mind that you want to talk about. Oh, I come over here. I got some food coming. We're going to do this real casual today, just have a conversation. I hope you guys have some things on your mind that you oh, want uh, to talk okay. about. I don't know why it's playing back my uh, my audio on my end. What's up, Nathan? What's up, everybody? Hope everyone is doing well today. Sem, sem, semu, mu. Swati cub, swati cub. Vicaria, what's up? What's up? I just ordered a little garlic chicken that's on the way. And um, every here that will do like a guided sauna session to music, live streaming from the iPhone right now. Not sure if it's a good idea to bring the iPhone in the sauna. I want to show you guys, but actually, you know what? Now that I'm saying it out loud, it'll probably overheat. So we won't do that, but I'll at least show you guys um, kind of of what he does just briefly just really briefly main thing today is just to have a conversation with you guys and hang out not so much to show you the sauna I just wanted to come over here so I thought I'd uh, broadcast from here so I hope you guys have some questions some things you want to talk about I did have something interesting happen this morning at the park. I want to wait for, what's up, Balu? What's up, what's up? Just got your message. Brother, I am heading up to Chiang Mai this Friday. I love Patia, and Patia is kind of one of those things you can get just, you can feel like you're missing out when you're away. But I think it's time just to uh, move on to another area, at least for a while. I can always come back. But, um, you know, I've always had a good time in Chiang Mai. And this last trip a couple weeks ago up there, I had a blast. And I've been kind of feeling a little stale in Pattaya, to be honest. I feel like I'm doing a lot of the same stuff over and over again. But, um, but yeah, I just want something new and fresh. My whole, my whole plan with this thing, guys was um, not to stay in one place. For those who have not heard me say, my original plan was to go to a new country every month to vlog, to do music, all of, all of uh, what we're doing. So I want to let a few more people um, come on in, but I had an interesting little interaction. This not an in yeah, I had an inter interesting little interaction this morning um, that I think will be good to talk about. It'll be a good uh, topic of discussion. <laughs> Nothing bad. 
Just, um, I mean, nothing bad for me. I'm fine. But, uh, something that might, may pop up for you, especially not only in Pattaya, but all over Thailand. Please come to India. You know, I think it would be good to, to go to India. A lot of people who watch the channel are from India. But to be honest with you, I have, I'm clueless about India. In the Swadika. How are you? Come over here. <laughs> She's trying to stretch the, the food all the way across the table. Little garlic chicken. Couple fried eggs, and they just fry the shit out of the eggs. That's all right though. Oh, they're not too bad. Yeah, guys, I just have no idea what to do in India. It just looks crowded on every uh, everything that I see. Nick, thinking about going to Pattaya next year. Cool, man. I'll probably be in Chiang Mai. <laughs> Who knows, though? Who knows? And again, I think the heading up to Chiang Mai will be good also to um, to get away from you know my my attachments here. My, my condo is really, really cheap. It's only 4,500 baht, and it's about 100 meters from the beach. So I've been hanging on to that for, uh, you know, good reason, I, I think. But I don't wanna let a cheap, nice condo stop me from um, moving around. And should be able to find find it again. Just like anything in Thailand, if you a little bit, you'll be able to find the deal that you're looking for. Good garlic. Balu, how long are you going to stay this time? Are you going to um, link up with your with your same uh, companion? Oh, three months. Wow. Nice, bro. Nice, bro. That'll be good. Sounds like you're ready to. That's good, man. That's good. When it's a good situation, why not, you know, why not stick with it? One of the difficult things that you're going to deal with over here, even if you meet someone and have a connection with them, everyone has a past and a lot of these girls still keep in contact 
or the guy is still keeping contact with these girls. So if you start vibing with somebody, you start hanging out with somebody, don't be surprised if they get texts from an ex or phone calls from an ex and they have to take the phone call. Just they don't have to take it, but they will. That can just be problematic when you are dealing with somebody new. So, we're 10 minutes in. I'll get into my story, what happened this morning. I've been going up to Big Buddha Mountain. There is a very nice park up there to walk. And I spotted a monkey, this huge monkey, a couple days ago. And as I'm stopping taking the picture of this monkey, this beautiful girl comes down the stairs and is also taking a picture of the monkey. So I struck up a conversation with her, ended up hanging out with her that day. Great. Now, we've been meeting and walking in the park in the morning. And yesterday, there's a guy that she knows that said something to her. Um, as I'm with her, he said something like, um, hey, I texted you last night, you didn't text me back. She just, you know, she kind of just gave that look like, dude, I'm with my new friend right now. Like, talk to me later, something like that, you know? So that was that, no big deal. I know what it is, I'm figuring they know each other, whatever. I don't care, I just met her. So today, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second there, Nick. We'll get to that in a second there, Nick. <laughs> so today, I'm walking with the girl and um, we're walking through the park just getting started on our little exercise walk. And the guy comes up out of n freaking nowhere and, want, and starts talking to me and wants to know who I am. He's nice, he's nice about it. But um, clearly he wants some information. And he, start, and he says something about, uh, um, oh, do I have a girlfriend? Oh, it's hard to meet people in Thailand. And I just told him I didn't have a girlfriend. I'm with the girl, you know. And yeah, he just asked basic questions. And um, just he just wanted, he was fishing for information, basically. So we're walking. And then another lady pops up out of nowhere. Who knew this guy and knew the girl that I'm with. So my girl says something in Thai to the lady along the lines of, get this fucker away from us right now. So this lady that just popped up was his like girlfriend. And the girl that I'm with, he had some kind of encounter with. But I think he was pursuing the girl that I was with. So I say all of that to say this, if you meet a new girl, you may deal with guys like this who um, are jealous and may get involved and may throw some monkey wrenches your way. But more importantly, if you're out and you see your girl with another guy, like the guy saw the girl with me, don't say anything. Because it is what it is. Hit her up later. Stay out of the guy's hair. I could have punched that dude in the fucking nose today. I wouldn't do that. I've been here a long time. I'm not jealous. I'm chilling. But if it was someone else who didn't know better, they could have told the guy to fuck off. So, I hope this is clear. If you see somebody out, keep it quiet, handle it later when you can handle it one-on-one. -on -one. Don't get involved and make it a public thing. 
that's not what this is about. It's about having fun over here. It's about enjoying yourself. And if you see somebody out and you're not cool with it, find another girl. <laughs> this guy's ringing the bell to do their sauna session. So what he'll do is he'll, he will um, play music in there and he'll put some uh, scented oils on top of the rocks. It's quite nice. I'm not really a fan of the dry sauna personally. I like the uh, steam room more. Well, it's not so much they all have an angle. I have no issue with the girl because the girl's just out here trying to trying to meet people. I had a, I had a great interaction with her. Not a money girl, regular girl. She um, works in a nail shop. And I'm probably gonna see her this afternoon. My issue was with the guy getting involved and who knows what their history is but um he felt he obviously felt comfortable enough to come up and get involved in what we had going on i wasn't upset about it but kind of i mean it's for me if I've, I've been there myself when i first came to thailand i was i've been in jealous situations but now I understand that this is, there's nothing to be jealous about. Plenty to go around, plenty to go around. Thank you, Nick, thank you. Nick checking and making sure that uh, super like button works. Thank you for uh, confirming that, Mr. Nick. And so Nick, yes, the, um, the thumbnail for this video, the thumbnail for today's video is from the OnlyFans. And I've got some stuff, some experimental stuff up on over there with Lucky. You guys have seen Lucky in two videos, a few videos back. And uh, it's fun stuff. You guys should go subscribe over there. Lucky was... Um, taken an English class from me, but she had a hard time, she had a hard time focusing on the English lesson and wanted to study something else. And um, you guys have to watch the movie just to see what she got into. Go to jeffreypeterson.com, the link is up over there. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Yes, sir, Nick, yes, sir. Tycoon, tycoon. Handling many things. By the way, when you come to this sauna, you get this free tea. It has some, um, I think it's a mushroom or something that's in it. It's sliced, looks like a, kind of like orange slices, but it's like a mushroom. Delicious stuff. Just side note, if you come here, try the tea. Very good. I'll go over and get more in a second. I'll show you guys. Teacher, how are you going to avoid getting a zygote in your girlfriend? What is that? I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means, bro. What does that mean?
Sir Williams, what's up, what's up, bro? Al Nino, your channel is cool. I enjoy it, plus it's not super serious, just honest and real. Cool, thank you, bro. Yeah, I don't really care to be too serious about anything in life. I pretty much try to find a way to laugh at any anything and everything I can. All right, guys, so we're just coming up on 12 o'clock. That was my scheduled time for today. So we'll get some more tea, and then we'll get right into this thing. I hit you guys with my story already, so I hope everybody um, who's hanging out caught that part. Well, let's pop over here. I'll show you guys the tea real quick. Give you guys a look at this place this place is called vip sauna this is a salt water pool you can open your eyes in this one without uh going blind sauna straight ahead that's a cold dip there where the elephant statue is. And then a hot uh, sauna. That's for men's. And then the ladies' side is right there. Steam room right there. And this is the tea. Check this stuff out. So good. Oh, and they got a gym back there too. You look in the distance there, can you see it says fitness? Show you guys the gym real quick. And there's the tea. Stuff is so good. And this place is uh, 170 baht for men and 140 baht for ladies. And this is the little gym, basic workout stuff. Got your treadmills, and, but they got the uh, boxing stuff over here so you can get a couple rounds in. Good stuff. But yeah, it's always good to uh, Come down here, chill. Get a little workout in. I mean, a gym is a gym, right? Yes, please, please, please. Ask questions, guys. I told you guys my story for today, so <laughs> it's up to you guys to talk now. <laughs> So let's get into it, guys. What do you guys want to talk about today?
Any thoughts on my story? Have you guys experienced anything like that? Because <laughs> you're going to meet the same people in a, a city like Pattaya. That's part of the reason I kind of, I'm kind of ready to move on too, guys. It's one thing to be, to come in as a tourist and have fun for two weeks, but it's another, you know, when you live here. You saw me in February, 2022, walking in Tree Town. Cool, man. I know you gotta miss it a Chipotle. <laughs> Funny thing to miss, right? In low season, do the girls go home? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, these girls do what, they just go, come and go all the time, but I don't think it's like a, uh, <laughs> I don't think it's like heading north for the winter or something like that. Al Nino, it's totally up to you, man. Do you get in trouble? Do you find yourself in any trouble? Do you find yourself in situations? That would be your answer. Balu, it's pretty hot today, man. Pretty hot, pretty hot. <laughs> you could, you could get addicted to everything. And one thing you got to do is you have to keep um, basic manners in mind also. There's guys who've been in Patia for a long time and they kind of like, don't watch what they say all the time. Like there's a guy that I know, he goes to the restaurant that I go to and uh, <sighs> Girl walks by, he'll just, he won't say, he won't introduce himself, he won't start a conversation or anything, he'll just be like, hey, how much? It's like, <laughs> all right, bro, you've been in Patia like way too long. You need to chill the fuck out. Like even for, even for Patia standards, that's considered like insane. Does that make sense? So just keep a balance, man. Go to get a schedule. Go to the gym. You can go to the place like I've been going to, the Big Buddha Mountain place. Go walk in the morning. But yeah, if you're just here partying like 24/7, that uh, that might get a little crazy. You might find yourself losing your mind a little bit.
Vajal, I went to Patia after watching your videos. Best time I ever had. Cool, thank you, man. What can you um can you think of anything specifically that was helpful? Or specifically that you were like here and you were like, whoa, this is what GP was talking about. I would just like to know that. Cause I say a lot of stuff. I wanna know like what's helpful and what's just blah, blah, blah. I mean, I suppose nothing I say is blah, blah, blah. Everything is, everything is like poetry coming out of my mouth. It's just starting to get hot in Vegas. Ooh, yeah, Vegas gets super hot. I think, doesn't Vegas get hotter than Thailand? Al Nino, I enjoyed the video, freelancer versus meeting women online. Cool, thank you, bro. People have been enjoying that freelancer versus series. So we will keep that going, for show. Sure. City by the Bay, Nick says, send some super chats. Y'all need to show some love for your boy GP if you enjoy his content. Thank you, Nick. And thank you, Sir Williams, for um, sending over the super chat. Appreciate that. Jet lag world tra travel salute, Geo. Thank you, brother. Balu says, don't date bar girls. Well, <laughs> I mean, I hope I hope at this point in the game, I mean, there, guys, have you guys seen how many Thailand channels there are now? I just I went on just the other day just to I just look up Patia just to see like what's populating the page. There's ten channels. I have no idea who they are. Maybe more. So I say that to say, everybody's kind of saying close to the same thing, I think. So I think by now, everyone should know not to take a bar girl like, like as a serious girlfriend. You could be a guide to meeting women in Patia and enjoying nightlife. Well, Al, I think the best thing is just watch the videos. I'm not, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe I would put together a group or like a, uh, a weekend thing where we could go out. That, I mean, it maybe, maybe. I just don't want to be liable for if somebody gets drunk or if somebody has a bad experience with a girl. You know what I mean? Because I can tell you what to do, but I can't control what happens when you're behind closed doors with somebody. You know what I mean? There are local girls for rent. There are some dating sites. You can connect with ones before you go. Yes, you can. I think that's actually what I talked about in that online dating video. I said you guys should get the paid subscription and then talk to the girls before you even come so uh, you can meet up with them. That's what I did my first day in Thailand. I met a girl in Bangkok that I had been talking to on Tinder for like, I don't know, a couple weeks before. AGP, could you also give advice how foreigners should treat locals? I've seen many foreigners, especially Americans and Brits, picking a fight with girl 
uh, you should, if if anything, <laughs> if anything feels like fighting energy, just walk away. That's my advice. That should be everyone, not just uh, Thai people. I hope you're not fighting in America and in the uh, UK either. But where have you seen Americans and Brits picking fights with girls? Where have you seen that? Hey, Gio, you still do new songs? Yes, doing a bunch of new songs. There's gonna be a lot of new songs coming. Oh, by the way, guys, about uh, meeting girls before you come, I've got a, no a novel that I'm putting together. There's gonna be the video version of it. The first two chapters are up already in the members area. It's called Bangkok Tales. And the first story in there is called The Go-Go Dancer by Day, no, excuse me, The Dog Groomer by Day, The Go-Go Dancer by Night. The dog groomer by day, the go-go dancer by night. And this was a story of a girl that I met my first day in Thailand, and I had been talking to her on Tinder using the passport function. And a very lovely girl helped me get my phone set up so I was able to get my line and all that stuff immediately as soon as I got here, or my data package, Wi-Fi and all that good stuff. And uh, the first day meeting her, I thought she was a dog groomer. Come to find out later in the week, as I was out one night on Soy Cowboy, she was also a go-go dancer. Good introduction to Thailand. Al Nino, true, what about helping a one on What about a one-on-one -on -one helping a subscriber? Uh, hit me up on Instagram, maybe we could talk about it. Balu, Thai Friendly was one of the best pieces of advice you gave me, my brother. Yes. Thai Friendly, Thai Friendly surprisingly is, is really good. I was even shocked about Thai Friendly because their layout of the website looks, it looks kind of dated, but very good. When you show the girls your music videos, what do they think? Uh, they think it's cool. They're surprised. They're usually surprised. The best one, I was hanging out one night in a place called Lisa's Guest House. If you guys haven't been over to, to Lisa's guest house, go over to, go over to uh, Lisa's guest house. But I had gone in there a bunch of times. Very, very cool people in there. And um, they knew that I, had done, that I had done YouTube and stuff, but I don't talk about it much when I go in there. But one night I, I told them to put on my videos and I've got a mix. It's on the channel. It's called like a uh, one hour GP party mix or something like this. And it's 60 minutes of all my music videos. And we're, wa we're sitting in there watching them and the girls are glancing up at it. They're like, damn, another one, another one. They're like, this is good, this is good, this is good. They're, so they're just looking at me like, what the fuck? She be famous or some shit? Like, what? Like, what is this? They were just kind of blown away by it. I'm your 57th subscriber. I'm still with you. I like your videos. Wow, amazing. How do, you how do you remember that, bro? Nick, Peaches is a... Uh... Dude, do you follow her TikTok? She's like all over the place. Some of these people, you like, you film with them a couple times, but they're hard to get to focus. So a lot of what I do is like, get the footage, move on to the next gig can't sit around and wait for people. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
she's like the hottest chick you collabed with. Yeah, she's fire. She's fire. She's she's like um She's like so hot she'll make you uncomfortable. <laughs> but then you kind of see her act goofy. Like I've met her a few times now, I'm fine. But like yeah, the first I think the first time you meet her, you're kind of like it's one of it's it's one of those things it's like I was thinking about this the other day because it's like why why when you see like a super hot chick do you kind of choke up and I think the answer is because they're they're rare so you're like oh really like <laughs> but there's a lot there's a lot of like very you know very beautiful women but then when you see that one that's like looks like a work of art you're just like you just don't see that every day, man. You see, you see that like what? I, maybe not even once a month. Maybe not even once a month. What do you guys think? Maybe like once every two months, like you really see one that's like drop dead gorgeous. And then, um, And then the other thing about that is, okay, so like Peach, for example, the guy that um, films all of her social media stuff is like this gay Thai guy. So this gay Thai guy is like always with her. So usually like a hot chick like that has like a offensive line. <laughs> you know, they got an offensive line pushing everybody back. So you've got, so you not only have to win her over, you got to, you have to win over the offensive line also. Not easy, not an easy task. And then you, you might be walking with her through the park and some guy who was trying to date her last week walks up and tries to throw a wrench in your game. You gotta be able to, you gotta be equipped to deal with that too. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So what do you guys think of the thumbnail picture for today's live stream? I'm surprised I'm not getting any questions about that. Nick, of course, commented, but Nick has been following the story quite, quite closely. Nick, did you go watch the movie, by the way? <laughs> no, 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 he had nothing on me. I've been on the other side of it also, though. In, um, in a sense that I was seeing someone and I didn't have full information about someone else that the girl knew. And that's kind of her fault for not filling me in on everything. But again, that'll happen in Thailand. These girls are very selective about the information that they share. As I think all girls are. And you can be too, guys. You don't have to spill your guts to these girls when you're dealing with them. Maybe uh, take a take a page out of their book. So let's see, I just posted 
Waiting for the 56K subscriber celebration. Me too, me too. I think it's gonna be there pretty quick. So I just posted this, the last video, it says $34 hotel in Patia. Uh, check out this new gents club. I showed Jam Tien Soy 3. This soy is a pretty cool little soy. Um, the guest house that I showed is about halfway up the block, maybe less than a hundred meters from the beach. It's like a thousand baht rooms. And then there's a gym on that soy. And then there's this gentleman's club called Seahorse, Seahorse Lounge. This place, this place is one of those places I suggest get over there as soon as you can on your trip because it's like, it's an unknown or a little known gem right now. Hot chicks in there in Jam Tien. So it's got the layback feeling of Jam Tien. Beautiful, beautiful. But um, get over there before it gets blown up because you know how it is. Once I post, once I post this stuff, word gets out quick. Is it possible to find a virgin girl on Thailand? <laughs> Up to you, my man. Anything is possible. I'm in Pat's thinking about bouncing to Jam Tien around Wednesday, Hua Hin next week. Right on. Where are you staying? The snowman. <clears throat> just caught your channel about three weeks ago coming to Thailand on vacation later this year may have to go alone without any friends any recommendations for traveling single versus with a group dude I love to travel solo for me I hate having to uh, wait on people I hate having to decide where to eat with other people I don't like sharing food. I don't like sharing bills. I like doing my own thing on my own time, going where I want, when I want. Gormless Twit, what's up, bro? Uh, same thing, man. Everywhere is the same. Everywhere is pretty much standard, except for Bangkok. It's like triple price <laughs> compared to Patia. got any questions anything you want to talk about anything you've seen on the channel that uh, has been on your mind what's the plan to celebrate 50k subscribers ooh good question I'm not sure I, I gotta think of something
Speaking of subscribers, how many of you guys got the notification today when I went live? Because this has been an issue lately. Um, clearly, 48,000 people are not getting the notification. Which is quite disappointing because the whole point of having YouTube subscribers is so they get the notification. Do a party in September, then I can join. We'll see, we'll see. I, I think I definitely gotta do a party. Balu, good, good, good. Very good, that's cool. BJ and I'm not sure, bro. You can just Google you can just Google that stuff quite easy. The real Dutch Farang. Good luck with the stream. Thank you, bro. You didn't get notified. You didn't get notified, but you're the first thing I saw when I opened YouTube today. Okay, cool. So it was like on the homepage. That's cool. What about India? Are you interested in travel to India? Like I was saying earlier, I really just don't know what I would do in India. Yeah, I just don't I just don't know enough about it. I'll do some research. I mean, I think Philippines would be higher on my list than India. I think next is going to be Philippines or Bali. Possibly Mexico. Monaco, Riviera, brand new condos and John Tien next time. Oh, cool, man. That'll be good. Those Riviera buildings are pretty, are pretty nice. Way better chance than the other cities except northern ones. Tons of college girls and everyday workers. Where? In like Chiang Mai? Oh, patio. Yeah, patio. So you guys, I urge, I encourage all of you to go to jefferpeterson.com and check out the OnlyFans because everything is uh, alive and kicking over there. How about going to Hong Kong? Hong Kong's Hong Kong could be an option. What's it? Uh, what's going on over there right now? All the news stuff on that kind of disappeared, didn't it? Hope they're doing all right. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, guys, the OnlyFans is kicking. Um, good content. I think you guys will. I think you guys will enjoy for sure. Members area has the Bangkok book. What else we got? New stuff on Spotify. New stuff here. <clears throat> In Chiang Mai next week. All right, guys, we're, we are coming up on an hour here. So if anybody's got their last minute questions or anything you wanna get off your chest, anything on your mind. Ever do self care stuff like manicure and facial? That should be a future video. Oh man, there's, plen there's uh, plenty of that stuff on this channel. Look under, there's a playlist called, uh, I think it's massage, I think it's massage and pamper, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go under playlist and look for massage pamper bunch of stuff there 42 videos yes sir yes sir What's up, bro? What's up? Did I see Migos reunite? No, I didn't see that. Are there usually vaccines in your apartment building? Looking for budget rooms? Now the vaccine thing is, is, is gone. Gormos Twit, the alcohol absence is going good. Over five months now. Very good, very good. Met a girl in California from Thailand, just wants to hit, hit it all the time. Nice, Anthony, very good. <laughs> what does she do, is she like a waitress or something? Work in a restaurant? Thank you, bro. Four months weed free, NGL, bro. I've been tempted lately. What's, N what's NGL? How about opening a studio in Patsia? I'm probably gonna do it in uh, Chiang Mai, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, but just don't. I went over to see one of my boys yesterday and he had just like smoked and he had a bottle, bottle of tequila inside. He was going to go drink and we were just like, bye. <laughs> like, he's not going to go out. He's not going to go like party and go have fun. 
and he's just gonna like just go get fucked up in his room. It's like, why? What's the point? Like if you're that, if you're that an if you're that anxious that you can't just sit with yourself, like just go lay down and sleep. Just go lay down and sleep until it passes. And if you feel weird just laying down sleeping all the time, it's like, yeah, it is kind of weird, but it's better than getting fucked up. Chiang Mai has how many soapy fish bowl? And which hotel do you recommend closest to the action? Thanks. Uh, Chiang Mai is Chiang Mai. You can stay anywhere, man. It's really small. You can get anywhere in ten minutes in any directions. And the soapy fish bowl, I I only know of one personally, but I there's got to be more than that. And there's a bunch of like karaoke's up there I saw last time. The sea mom like they might be fun. They seem like they might be interesting. Have the temptations for you been worse or better lately? I don't I don't really get them anymore, man. But you got to understand, Nick, like I have um, I really reached my goal these past two years and I just want it to get bigger and bigger. So uh, anything that's going to jeopardize that I'm just not interested in. Before, I think I was I always was I always knew I had the talent and I always had something going, but I didn't have I wasn't getting acknowledged for it. So that was always like a mind fuck for me. So since I would go out and drink. I don't know if that makes sense. Thank you, Baloo. Anthony, yes, I have. My experience was okay, but, um, I think everyone should try it though. It's cool. In Patia, there's these places, they're called Honey Massage. I think Honey Massage 1, 2, and 3. Look for those. Would you feel guilty when you drink? Yeah, I, I would takes the enjoyment out of it. it. Does take the enjoyment out of it quite a bit. Meet any other YouTubers in Patia? Yeah, man, all the time. Watch my Patia song video. They're all up in there. They all up in there. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a steam in, chill out a little bit. Thank you guys for hanging out today. Again, jeffreypeterson.com. That's where that uh, thumbnail for today's video is from. Encourage you guys to head over there right now. You won't be disappointed. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that, guys. Hope everyone has a good week. Have a good Sunday night. Have a good Monday morning, depending on where you're at. Thank you guys for hanging out. Peace. Love.